you have to be able to provide something different if you want to be able to win those tough games. And you, that means that you have to be able to operate outside of the box and outside of your scheme at some point during that game or for the entire game. And the argument that I make for that is if you look at coaches like Andy Reid or Bill Belichick or any of the great coaches, Pete Carroll, any of the great coaches in the NFL, when they need to win a game, they don't, it doesn't matter. They will pull whatever they need to pull to win the game. I feel like Kyle doesn't have that ability to deviate off of his script and off of the game plan to be able to win a game like that. And you could argue that's why he doesn't have a Super Bowl ring on his hand, either as a coordinator or as a head coach. But the point still remains that you need to be able to, number one, have a quarterback go off script to be able to make some of those plays when it, when it counts in crucial moments. And number two, allow them to be able to do that. And I feel like there is this thought out there that Kyle will not allow his quarterbacks to go off script or that he will lose patience with them if they go off script too much. And I wonder if that's happened with Trey where – there was some freewheeling going on and Kyle just didn't like it. And he got impatient with him. Like, look, Kyle's notoriously impatient with quarterbacks. We know this. We know this. He's notoriously impatient with, with how his offense is run and very particular about it. He's notoriously impatient with quarterbacks. That's why he hasn't been able to settle on one in seven years. So the concern that I have with Brock Purdy is that there was some freewheeling going on there. There was some off script playing going on and that's what made him successful down the stretch. My concern is that Kyle will try to rein him in and try to make him something that he's not. And it's the same concern I have with Trey where Kyle didn't really know how to use him because he didn't know what he had in him. So they just started using him as a battering ram and Trey's not a good runner. Like it's not, it's not like Justin Fields or Jalen hurts running or Josh Allen running Trey. Trey is a clumsy runner. We, we have documented that. We know that. So I just, I, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to make anything out of him, because I don't know what he has in him. And that's, that's to your point. Like if they never find out, then Trey will never have a chance here.